Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a-okay? In your neck of the woods? <laughs> what up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're very new right on over here, special welcome. Thank you so very much. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey, manners and respect. Now today's video, I'm going to be gigging or jogging your memory again in this one. This video is the old time, long time, call it authentic if you want, carrot and beetroot juice. Old time, long time Jamaican carrot and beetroot. Other people say beets all over the world. We put root to it for whatever the reason. Me don't know. But it's carrot and beetroot juice. Old time, long time wear. And if you please, authentic. Now, I, this is something that I cannot, I will ever forget unless my memory fails me. Why? I was, me tell you this story all the while. I was the only little girl, the last one in the family. So these little things, they would have tied to me. As soon as Miss reached a little age, when me I did little above me knee, I had to start doing these to help my mother. So, back then, we never had no fridge for when, because my mother used to leave the country. That's so she, that was her, her occupation. For left country, come at town, come sell ripe banana, sell cane and stuff. And so these things we never grow in our parish in St. Mary. You know? So she would buy these when she come to the market. Mind you, it would have to be in a lot. It would have to be enough in enough quantity for she can buy. Because when it's expensive, she can't buy because our family was large. So she'd have come with her carrot and beetroot and carrot and beetroot. Um in a in a enough. In a, a lot of you know, in big supply then are a lot. When it the market has stone down. Oh remember that. So she would come with it and we would have it. So she'd come from market like about Thursday. And if you're right here and you don't want to hear the story, you can click up, but I'm gonna tell it because I'm gigging or jogging the memories of my my, 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 my family members who have left Jamaica long years, never even remember this, who used to do it too, you know? So we didn't have any refrigerator to keep it in. And time act like this, she come from market with the Thursday and this now you still Sunday car. We couldn't afford to make this juice in the week no we could this is a sunday special juice you see what i'm saying so before going to church on a sunday morning i would have to leave the carrot wash them scrub them so i did that ahead of time just to you know for in the interest of time on the video leave them and you'd get some carrot like this you know the brightish color one them and the beetroot me wash them ahead of time and have them a soak this process was to rehydrate them to make sure say when you are greater than them you know you know well, when you are greater than them dry kind now the work so this was the, this was the rehydration process so these have been washed and they are in water soaking so pudding pan clean greater and for those who want to talk about my hands, because I'll be using my bare hands to do this juice. So for those who want to talk about your hands, should I say, look here, before you start great the carrot and the bitro, come let me see your fingernail them. So I'd have to show them to her. Clean hands, because we and we are going to use juice it. And make sure I'm telling you, okay? Old time, long time wear. So carrots and beetroots will be washed properly and left to be rehydrated. You come now, you nip off the bottom of your carrot and you make sure you don't nip it off more than this because you don't get some slap in your face because you waste the carrot and nip off the little head. Look at me here now. So you would, I would use a smaller knife, like a little paring knife. So you would come and you would break your carrot, um, scrape. No, you don't, you don't peel. She never taught me to peel carrot. She taught me to scrape carrot. Can anybody comment? So... Getting into it real fast, yeah. So you scrape it. You get to know for you have to know for do it and get into it. And the proportion is like a pound and a half of carrots to about one pound of beets. Because back then in the days, those carrots and those beets they did more stronger than them. Yeah. I'm telling you. 
So you still put it in there and you rinse it. We are going to give it another little rinse again. So every single one of these that are remaining, it will be the same process. Next patient for the carrot them, same process. When I return, the carrot will be finished. I'm going to show you how we used to deal or how we are going to be doing the beets. Must soon come. All time, long time, carrot and beetroot juice. What do you know about that? Okay, carrots are through. Okay, and we have the little scrapings and stuff right here. Now for the beetroots, or the beets. So, they are being um, rehydrated as well. But you don't scrape them. You take off right here. Not take off, not, not too much, you know. And you'd start to peel with a smaller knife than this. Like as I told you, it was with a paring knife. And you start to peel real sparingly. Because at that point, you won't be able to... You can't afford to peel it too deep. And then your parents or your, would, your mom would say, look here. Yeah, where's the beetroot, you know? Here. You're wasting the beetroot, so you got to know yourself. You know? So this is how we would peel the beetroot sparingly. And all of that. Okay? If you know about this, if you used to do this, this was back then in the country as a little girl. And as I said before, when you have this as on a Sunday, and these beetroot, them first time beetroot, they never look nothing like this when you peel them off. No, no. So let us try another one. So you Because you know the nature of beetroot already. So you take off the little bottom and you take off the little top and stuff. Yeah, that's how they want some of them look now. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm going to be using a little more than the pounds. So I'm just going to go along. So remember, we scrape the carrots and then we peel the beetroot sparingly. When we finish, so I'm sorry, when I return to you next, all these beetroots will be peeled off. And we are going to rinse them off, give them a next little rinse to make sure there's no sediment from the peeling and the scraping. Now, let it, because remember, I'm doing it this way to show you. We didn't have running water. We never have running water. And I'm doing it the way, authentic, all time, long time, where there wasn't any running water. But soon come. Okay, now we are back. Carrots and beetroot peel off, okay? And those beetroots, as I said before, they will be dripping with juices, with nice, you know, moist and stuff. So, this was, oh, we had a, a container with water, yeah, and you got to know how you're doing it. We didn't have running water. So, at the end of it, I'll, I'll see what the comment says, because I know some people that don't even know a thing about what I'm doing, they're going to comment, oh, and the running water, but let us show you what, how we did it back then. And a lot of you remember, they're going to comment and say, yes, Debbie. And not never do, do it. We die, we are the road, and we are the town and country. The all of the moon are bright and shine, because that's how we did it back then. So you have your cup, and your cup must be clean. So you dip it in the water. You can't waste the water too tough, neither, you know, because you have to go pick it up. So if you want to waste it, you have a problem. You know? So you put your cup in a little plate or a little saucer, and you are try it, you know? So yeah, got one final rinse here, yeah, you know, because you know what I'm making sure. When you when get a final rinse, I'll show you what I'm talking about. These that are in the bottom here, you would want them in your gritterine. So you're going to throw out this water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is how my mother taught me. And you take a little bit, you can't take nothing up sparingly. Yeah. And you start pudding pan, everybody in, ready, we're ready. Greater, we are go greater. Hands clean and all of that, greater, we are go greater. So, what do you want to start on the beetroot? We used to start on the carrot first, you know? So, you start to lick up the carrot. Greater enough for carrot. Okay, carrot. Beetroot, and this is how your greater would look. Beetroot, they would have been redder than this. Mm? And look at it. The, the purpose of soaking it in the water was to rehydrate it. One, that when you juice it, you get good juice out of it in the dry. Two, to enable you to have less pressure on the greater because it becomes more moist. Eh? When, we, when you see me next, all these carrots, shoot them up, camera girl, and beetroot will be properly grated off and we are going to turn now to the pine but we are going to use some of the same water and we are going to juice it. Must soon come. 
Okay, family, I'm back. I'm not getting no cut off on it. I'm going to clip up on them something here in the family. I do them from my eye down my knee. But if you don't know about it, I'm just showing you. Because I know nobody not really want in them day, you know. The difference back then, my hands would be stained with the red, with the beat. Nowadays, that not happen. Now look at this. You, you, when you leave the, 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 the beads and the carrot to get rehydrated, this is how it comes. Look at it. This is a natural juice. No water has touched it as yet, family. Yeah. And I told you back then, the beetroot would be so pretty and overpowering. Now, this is the part that I want you to look at. Those who know and those who don't know. Okay? This is it. So, what we can do here, so because this hand was in it all along. So, let me wash, rinse the onion. What did that deal with the grater? That was all in the grater because this hand was in it all along. Now, you're going to use the same cup. First, you're going to rinse off your hand. Not a good cup. This cup needed a spout cup. But nevertheless, let's go on. This is how we did it right back then. Hello. This thing is not supposed to come out with some long water juice, you see? We want some rich juice. We work hard and we don't want a long water. We don't want nothing we look like carrot and beet. We want something that is carrot and beet. So right here. So we're getting some water. So the very first thing you need to work on. And make sure, you know, you take your time and you use this water to clean off the the um the grater. Mind you, you know, no put no wall it because you're going to have to do this thing a second time. So you don't want to do it too, too, too much. You want to get it because you're doing it two times. You're going to be juicing it two times to make the thing good. So you're not to go and lose control and go ahead and then use too much water at the very first. Hmm? All right, we're going to leave this grater to get it drained off and stuff and all of that, okay? So we wash off the excess that we add on the grater. You can even use your hand because all the way through this thing, you know, it's going to be your bare hands. Your bare hands, not no latex gloves, no nothing. Your bare hands back then. Hmm? All right, look at me here now. Look like we can take a little bit, but make me mush it up first. So you want to go around bare hands. Remember I told you, you get in your thing incorporated. Oh, remember this? Talk to me. So yes, we can take a little more water, not a lot. I remember we're gonna do it a second time this is good so look at me here you're getting it together motion up getting it together same smell of the beads so you go now this is what you're using your hands your bare hands and you're gonna be juicing because we're gonna do it a second time. So we're gonna put that trash over there. I'm gonna be doing it just like this, like this, until I am through with most of the trash. When we're through with most of the trash, I'll come back, show you how we strain it off. And we are gonna deal with the second batch with like about half or a quarter of this amount of water. No long water juice run here for long out the thing and we cut the thing and pop down with body. Cause our body done pop down already. One's on gone. Okay, we'll get out most of the trash. This exercise is a bit messy, you see? We have another clean bowl. And you have your Gotto L strainer, a family size strainer. So you want to put it right through here. And all of that. Okay, remember, you know, we are up for the little richness. We don't want the whole heap of long water. So remember, I told you the only difference I see now, the beads. They are, you know, them the last in the color, them not that colorful, colorful. And you can, um, all who know about this, you can all comment. But then your hands will be stained for days. And two, you use the smaller beads. I had some big size ones in mine. The smaller ones, they tend to have more color. They are better, you know. We call them one a day in Jamaica. So this is how we're treating it. This is the first set of this training. You understand? This is how we did it back then okay we never have no way to do it different from this you know that is and now if you don't have electricity and you want your carrot and your beat this is still the only way what you say about that we're going in for the second time so now 
you want to realize that this this thing, you know, it don't have a lot left in it, you know. So you don't go about putting a lot of water in this thing. You see, ah, else this thing going to turn a little long water, walkly, scaly looking thing. You see what I'm saying? We can't afford that. So let us just put two, probably about two and a little cups of water. I mean, I think we're going to need much more. So we are going to go down back in our history now and we are going to take out all of the little juice and strength we left. But we are going to want a little more water, you know. But you don't throw a lot like, like um, one time. You know, but then, as I said, family, everything has changed. When you finish with this, this trash would be as red, as red as this juice in here. But look here, revelation upon the beetroot then. Put in back a little more water. Just a little bit more, not a lot. No more. Remember what we did in the first, first arm um, squeezing? Mm-hmm. Who want to click off can click off. I'm just kicking back the memories of my family members. We don't want no more water in this thing. And I can't give me a whole past strength. No, in the end, I'm thing. I'm not going to know what it is. Same way, this is the final squeezing. And when you see me next, we are going to done this. I'm soon come. Okay, right in with the other set or with the first set. Okay, cold. Hands, all hands on. All hands on family. All hands on. So, I don't know about the bacteria for the people that talk about the, this bacteria. Mm, and you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But it was like this. All hands. When you see me next, we're going to be restraining this in a finer strainer to proof it. To make sure we don't have any extra trash. So when we finish this now, you will just come out in the dirt yard. Coop, 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 coop. Call fall, throat, give fall. My son come, what you know about that? Okay, now we rinse out our original container that we created it in. And we, we throw it back in there. So we're going to throw it back into this wall. Through a finer strainer. To prove if there is anything. And the strainer could be finer too. Look at me here now. Look at me here. That's why we proofed it, right? We just call it proof, you know, but it just restrain it. Okay. Now, at this point, we are going to branch off the cook. It can, I, it can go two ways. Okay, family. Ginger and lime or milk or whatever. Milky way. The Milky Way and the straight way. How do you do, please? Or the Milky Way and the clear way. Now, if you know that you will be doing this thing for just ginger and lime, you could just grate with the ginger. But I wanted to show you both ways, so I did not put the ginger. I just went ahead and made some strong ginger juice, you know? So, I'm going to be going now and sharing it into two jugs, juice jugs. I don't want to do it on camera, it might have a mess because I don't have a spout here throwing from. So I'm soon come back, eh? Okay, we are back. So we're doing it for you two ways. This way is with lime. This is lime juice. And this way, lime and ginger. I don't throw all of this ginger juice. That's good because this is strong. And sugar. Hi, hello, the sugar done. Real kitchen. Don't put no holy pakuga in it. Don't put no pakuga. Hi, Puga, we look at kids and we can't talk good. Don't put no more than that. Because the beets, they have a tendency to be sweet sometimes. Oh, the sugar bottle empty. I saw it go. Real kitchen, y'all. So, this is with the ginger and with the lime. And you might, you use the dark sugar. You will never know about the white, the white sugar and the little sugar. If we didn't even know, we know really in other one day. So, you know, you're doing this, you know. Sweeten to your taste with your lime, with your ginger, and all of that. Make sure. Now, that's dissolved. Okay? Let us rinse the spoon. Just I'll see him somewhat more rinse it because this one is going to go with the milk. Hmm? You're going to want in a condensed water. Okay? But then them the milk, they tick like our. Yeah. So, with the milk now, the color of this one. It's gonna change a bit, and because I can then so I turn it can forget weak. We're gonna put a little evap milk because we work hard on a bush mouth here. Yeah, oh yes, yes, please. 
a little bit of nutmeg not a lot remember the stoppage of water i think the man then and then days they used to drink too much nutmeg just a bit nothing much now don't forget when you do it with the milk a pinch of salt to make your belly no bad idea with the milk you know some people then drink this now you know them belly are bad at them hmm? some people like that you know what i'm saying so you put a pinch of salt i how do you do you don't have to, it's not compulsory, but a little shot of whites. This is to bring it up. This is for the, the working class people, them that work hard, you see? That's a little shot of whites, you see? No, you limit on the whites, it's not compulsory, remember I said that. And can I tell you something, I'm going to go to a store before, yeah, some people are about, how oh, if it's ramen, oh, no, I don't understand this thing, you see, back then. This back then, I did for you the carrot juice, and I'm going to leave the link to that video. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. So look here. This is all it was. Two ways. Carrots and beetroot. Back then, two ways. So you realize the milk changed it. Hmm? Yeah, man. So we are going to prepare a drink for you all and come back. We are soon come. We are back. I hope I'm that skillful. Back then, carrot and beetroot juice. Aye. They could have put the clients in there, they never cast. Hello, how did you do that? That was like in castle, but probably it appears. Pick your choice. Both of them are nice. Back then, carrot and beet. And I made it strong enough. This is because you know my alley say, look here. We don't like the whole of ice and my juice and water. I don't want. This is really strong because the, it was like three and a half pound carrots and beets. Because when we look and see the beetroot, then look, Margaret, I went and put two more whilst I went off camera. So please do enjoy. Pick up which one you want. Tell me in the comments. I know you're looking at it with your eyes now. Bare hands, you all. Bare hands, clean hands, clean pure art. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your plate to your stomach and most of all to your family table it is the back then where all we did carrot and beets hmm? please do enjoy Jaja ja, um, Jaja Gerald Kelati Margaret tell me all what you know all of you all I remember I'm gonna remember the rest of the name tell me what you know about it tell me which one you prefer in the comment section now if you have liked this video if I've gigged your memory Please say something. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We love you. <clears throat> and make sure when you watch these videos, if you are not subscribed, you make sure you click subscribe. When you click the subscription thing, you make sure you hit the notification bell. That is how you will be notified. I when they remember then sinting ya come. I'm talking to you all. Thank you so much for your love and your support once more. And our PayPal or Cash App is still there. In case you want to give your donation, if you go buy some more beetroot, we would welcome it. Okay? When you come to the Jamaican Five Star Backyard, you'll be getting some of these. Talk to me about it in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're doing that. And you've got my email address. Hook me up. Debbie from Dongayar. Bless. No stress.